There are two options for plinths, a standard recessed plinth and a moulded plinth. The standard plinth is a 3 meter long MDF wrapped profile, 150 millimeters high and 16 millimeters thick. Curved plinths are available to suit both the small and large curve. Standard recessed plinths can be fitted using plinth clips after the doors and frames are fitted. Curved recessed plinths need to be fitted before the frame. Moulded plinth is available in two designs. Contemporary with a single chamfer and classic with a more elaborate profile. Both are an MDF wrap profile, three meters in length. They feature a recess on the reverse to allow the frame of the door to overlap and register against. When using moulded plinth, all accessories such as feature posts and end panels must be cut to finish at door height to allow for the recess on the reverse. When fitting moulded plinth, plinth clips can be used. The legs on the cabinet need to be pulled forward and an 18mm spacer applied to the back to mount the clips to. This is ideal when using the plinth in front of integrated appliances. Mitered joint cover caps are available as a retrofit option on mitered corners or as a way to achieve a return mitre on the plinth where it stops, such as where it meets a range oven. Curve profiles are available in both styles of plinth and for small and large curves alike. Unlike the recessed plinth, the moulded plinth should be fitted once the frame has been fitted as it overlaps the bottom edge. One of the more popular details in photography is the 75mm post pulled forward. This adds detail to the plinth level and can be tricky to achieve. A new resin block makes this detail easy, available in both styles of moulded plinth. The block is prescribed to the adjoining profile, meaning it can sit over the top. A recess in the top allows the bottom of the feature post to rest on the block, hiding your cut edge. Radius corner blocks are to be used when specifying the frame end panels along with moulded plinth. They feature a step on the side profile to allow the straight profile to interlock, covering your cut edge. They have wings on the reverse to allow them to be attached to the straight plinth. A 90 degree corner block is designed to work with the 18mm end panel or any instance where you require a 90 degree mitered corner. Available in both designs, it has the same recess and wings as the radius blocks, allowing them to be securely fitted. They can be attached to the plinth using the wings on the reverse. Two indents indicate where you need to drill for a screw fixing. For more guidance on how to design and plan a 1909 kitchen, please refer to the full technical manual. <laughs>